hi everyone so before getting into this video and if you are watching this video from your mobile phone please do click on the subscriber icon so that you can watch all my 200 videos for free and also you'll get the full access to my channel thank you so much hi everyone welcome to my channel so today in this video i'm going to show you how to make a loops and button uh, neckline so to make this neckline i just took a golden color buttons like this and you can take any buttons as you like so this is going to be a golden button like this you need a golden color fabric to make the loops so let's get started so first take your golden color fabric and you're going to make a bias cut with this okay so bias i already told it's going to be a cross piece so just make it like an angle like this so now from here i'm going to cut in a cross to take out the cross piece I'm going to cut this out like this okay. nice and neat so the width should be a minimum of 2 inch and the length depends upon how much loop you want okay so you can see how stretchable it is uh, and if you want you can cut this from the leftover fabric also so that it can join both to make a big piece so now I show you how to join these pieces. So this is going to be the wrong side of the fabric. Just take your right side of the fabric and you can see both the pointed tip is facing towards the right side of me. So all you have to do is you can't just put the fabric together and you can't join the cross piece like this. Perhaps what you have to do is so you can see that this tip is pointing towards the right hand side and make sure uh, you just take your right side of the fabric and you're going to take the pointed tip going to face towards your left hand side and you're going to match it like this okay. it's going to have a nice A like shape like this see going to look like an A so both the pointed tip should be facing in opposite direction so you're going to hold it like this and you're going to put a stretch over here and once you've sewn this together when you open it's going to come like a straight it's going to be having a one single fabric with a very very neat finish so once it's done you're going to cut this pointy tip and if you have a pointy tip over here you're going to cut this off and you will get a very neat and nice bias cut like this so this is absolutely for beginners so if you're sewing this for the first time so this is how you have to do so let me show you what to do next let me show you how to stretch the neckline first so without adding any interfacing I'm going to turn the neckline in so the fabric is a little bit stiff so I don't want to add any interfacing to that so I'm just lining the golden fabric underneath and I'm going to sew at the exact margin of the neckline Once you are done with attaching the piece of fabric underneath, uh, you are going to cut the inner fabric out. So if you want you can add interfacing, it's absolutely left up to you. I am just showing my version of attaching the neckline. So the next step is, I am just folding the raw edges of the neckline. So I have just uh, folded the raw edge of the back neckline 
and you're going to snip the corners of the neckline. Make sure you don't cut into the thread. And then, so now this is going to be my pretty side. And I'm going to tuck this gold fabric inside. So if you want, you can tuck entire piece inside or else you can just take a little bit of fabric out of the gold so that you make an illusion of attaching the uh, piping to the neckline. bias cut and I'm going to join this together I'm going to sew the exact margin of the fabric like this a bias fabric so don't stretch the fabric so I'm just sewing this to the wrong side of the fabric so when you're getting to the end point you're going to make it like a V so this is going to be my end point and I have just given a lot of space so that the fabric will turn nice and neat. So now I'm going to trim a very little amount of fabric from this. Now I have took my needle and thread. I just threaded four times just going to be a very thick uh, thread like this so now so to the big open of the fabric so to the folded side I'm going to insert the needle and one more time to make that firm so take your back side of the needle you're going to put that in So I'm just uh, putting my back side. You can see the back side of the needle. I'm just just tucking the back side of the needle in. So my pointy tip of the needle is right down. Now I got the uh, needle out. So very slowly I'm going to take out the needle. So now I'm going to the down part. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just pulling the top of the thread by just you're going to first it will be a little bit tough. You're going to help the fabric to get into that piece of opening. So once it starts getting into the fabric, I'm going to hold it right over here and you can see. You can see the fabric is getting in so I'm pulling it to the one end and you can see how nice it's getting into the loop got a nice and neat look like this so you can make any color as you like so now i show you how to attach this to the fabric so now take your center point of the fabric and i'm going to cut into this as much opening i want you can make a collar neck u neck v neck whatever you make this is going to be standard but when you're going to make the collar neck make sure you finish off this part and then you're going to attach the collar if you're making the same design to the v neck square neck scoop neck and uh, both neck 
this is how you have to do first finish off the neckline and then you're going to finish off this uh, V part okay so just fold the loop like this and make sure that this button should get into the loop like this that's very important so my loop is getting into this button the next step is you're going to decide the space between each loops okay so I'm going to give a one inch for each loop so first mark that so it's absolutely depends upon you if you want you can give half an inch so for every one inch I'm going to give a mark so to make a loop I'm just going to fold the cord like this and I'm going to place it over this point so I'm going to place on top of this one centimeter line like this okay. I'm going to sew that together. make sure you hold that firm So this is going to be the pretty side of the fabric and all the loops should be attached towards the opening. So this is going to be the opening and I'm folding this cord into a loop on top of the line like this towards the raw edge of the fabric. This is very important. So just hold it firm like this. So now you can see I have done with all the loops. All the loops should be facing on the pretty side of the fabric. The raw edges of the loops should be facing on the opening side of the fabric. So now you're going to take a piece of fabric like this and fold it a little bit at the top. And I'm going to place this and I'm going to sew the exact margin of the loops. So once it's done, uh, you're going to cut this in an angle a little bit like this. So this is going to be the opening and you're going to cut this in an angle so that you're going to turn the fabric in. So when I open, you can see a very beautiful loops like this. So now all you have to do is just close it like this. You can see how beautiful it is. So to the next side, I'm going to attach this piece of fabric and I'm going to sew that together. So when I get into the end point, I'll be cutting that a little bit and fold that like this. So I'm just going to cut this in an angle. So this is going to be the loop side and this is going to be the button side. So turn the fabric and take your button side out. Okay. 
and you are going to just fold that one and you are going to close this raw edge like this. As you do for your blouse, same like that, you are going to follow that step over here also. Okay. So just fold that little bit and you are going to close this out. So now I finished with the button side to the loop side you are going to tuck this in and make sure the continuity of the neckline and place it firm like this okay? and take out the one side and you are going to secure it just by attaching this. Get into the end point, tuck the placket in, make sure you align the placket. Put the needle in, turn the fabric out, and we're going to put a straight stretch. So now all you have to do is uh, take your marking pencil and you are going to put that into the space and you are going to keep a dot so that you are going to add buttons to this. So here I am going to add the button just like that. This is going to be a metal button. Now you can see the button is secured. I'll put a knot at the back side. So same like that, I'm going to finish all the buttons. So this is going to be the end result of the dress and before finishing this video I have to say that uh, please do subscribe my channel just by hitting on the subscriber button below because, so that you won't miss all my videos. I'm uploading a new videos on every Wednesday so that you won't miss that video. It's going to be a very very beautiful end result of the dress and I have to say this I totally love the style. So we are going to put the button like this. So if you really like this video as I do, please go ahead and hit on the subscriber button below or else just go ahead and hit on the sue with me icon that you see on the screen right now and also don't forget to give a thumbs up. See you next time with a different kind of style. Take care. Bye bye.